Mainers all over the state use our ocean and rivers for recreation, a food source, and often as a source of income. Protecting these waters is necessary and professional development helps us to better understand our own process and stay ahead of the changing standards. I'm Matthew Zuter, the Industrial Compliance Specialist for the Saco Water Resource Recovery Department. There's always that here where if you tell someone, hey, I want to spend some time learning about this, the answer is always yes, because it, it helps us all if, you know, each individual person knows more. When I started working here as the lab technician, I really had no idea that I would eventually become deputy director here. But once I started settling down here, taking classes and then doing Ops Challenge and doing the Management Candidate School, it started to obviously pique my interest in what I wanted to do. Um, and I knew that I wanted to further my career and, and become a manager eventually. I'm Riley Cobb. I'm the lead operator at the Saco Wastewater Treatment Plant. Saco was an extremely useful resource for me going back to school from notifying me of open scholarship opportunities through various wastewater organizations to allowing me to use computers after hours to complete homework to even offering tuition reimbursement for some courses. I participated in the Operator Exchange Program where I was able to tour multiple treatment facilities. This showed me that there are many different treatment processes out there and that Saco's facility is in great shape compared to some. Another important development program for myself was joining Operations Challenge. This is where teams are formed in each state to compete against one another in wastewater challenge events. I am now participating in the Management Candidate School, which is an 11-month course that aims to train current and future wastewater and drinking water facility managers. This has helped learn the responsibilities and challenges managers have and help me understand how effective communication is crucial for a healthy, functioning workplace. I believe he was just 20 when he started here um, as an intern. Didn't really say much, um, and now he's been here, uh, it'll be eight years in May. Just to see his evolution of a wastewater operator, his leadership skills start, starting to come into place, it's just really kind of nice to see, and I wish I could have cataloged it every year. Since being in Management Candidate School and also being on the Operations Challenge team, he's just, he's flourished, and, and I'm really, really proud of him. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs>
the wastewater, clean water, drinking water um, industry as a whole.